podium now by members of the Stonehill Skyhawks. In the center of our podium is head coach Chris Krause. On the far side to coach's right is Pierce Cumstone. Pierce is a senior forward from Bainbridge Township, Ohio. And next to me is Ryan Logan. Ryan is a junior forward from Fredericktown, Ohio. Coach, first uh, open with your initial thoughts on a game that like so many of yours down the stretch has come down to the wire. Uh, your kids had an opportunity, just came up a tad short. Yeah, I mean, just tough to, to see it end uh, for this group. Um, a group that's just worked so hard to, to get to this point and put in so much um, in games, but behind the scenes uh, with all the preparation and just so, so proud of these guys for, for everything that they've done to get us back to this point and for everyone that is just so proud from their families, the school, um, our administration, and just, just couldn't be happier for the effort that this group has showed. Uh, it was just so tough to see it come to an end. Um, a group that you just love so much and with each and every day going through battles. Um, but just a great game out there. A lot of credit to West Liberty. They played a, a heck of a game and uh, it obviously was a heck of a game to watch. And I think that's that's what you want when once you get to this point. Um, a one point game right to the, the tail end of it. You know, it was a, we tell our guys to compete and play for 40 minutes and, and we certainly did that tonight. Uh, unfortunately, just uh, the balls didn't bounce enough our way. and. Uh, one basket, too many for those guys. Um, but just couldn't be happier and more proud of, of this group for, for what they've done. And uh, I just was along for the ride and loved being a part of it with these guys the whole year. Pierce will uh, go to you next, to double-double, 21 points, 10 rebounds. Uh, showed your outside ability, 5 of 7 from three-point range. Talk a little bit about your game and maybe the challenges that uh, West Liberty threw at you. Uh, I mean, they're a team that we don't really see a lot in our conference. Our conference uh, mainly focuses on getting like defensive stops. West Liberty is more run and gun team, and so um, they try to speed us up a little bit throughout the game. And we did a great job handling the pressure. I mean, we held a team that averages 100 points at 75 points, and then 32 at halftime. Um, but for them, I mean, we're, we just uh, get the ball through our motion offense and run plays for all of our players. And for me, luckily, a shots dropped today. Um, Ryan, from your standpoint, uh, 14 points, eight rebounds, five assists for a big guy. I know a lot of your points came inside. You you worked for him. Um, yeah, we kind of run a bunch of sets, get me in a low block, and uh, then when they uh, show help, I'm just going to find guys uh, that can knock it down like uh, Adam, Pierce, and Card like they did. Questions <clears throat> for Stonehill, right here in front. Uh, Creighton Ramp, Zero Sports. Coach, uh, number that, the number that just jumps out at you, you go, 12 of 18 down from the line in the second half. They went 9 for 11. Uh, and a couple of those foul shots looked like had good looks, but they just Yeah, you know, some of them rimmed out, you know, and the the woulda, coulda, shouldas, you know, of it all. Um, but, I mean, having I'd have these guys at the line um, down the stretch, do it again, give the ball to the same guys to make shots. And we did it last week in the regional, you know, when we were up and to see all games, to win it. Um, to put us in those positions, and, and we made them, you know. And I, unfortunately, just some of the balls just didn't drop today. Um, but we've got great shooters, especially the two sitting up here with me, um, that are are hot and are calm, cool, collective under pressure. And uh, if we're in that situation again, I wouldn't want anybody else being there. Uh, Coach David Boyce with the NCAA.com. Uh, game was close throughout, but it was just that one spurt midway through the second half. What was West Liberty able to do? in that one stretch that stretched the lead out? They got a couple of threes, I think, which really opened things up for those guys. Um, they cut it, they opened it up, I think it was 66-56, a 10-point lead um, that allowed them to just get a little bit more momentum going. Um, but we were, uh, we, we talked, we had a timeout, um, and uh, this group just, they won't back down, you know, and I think that, that showed it. Uh, coming from that 10-point down deficit to, to cut it to obviously a, a one-point game right there, it's just, it's been the statement of who this group is and what this group has, the resilience and the toughness that they've showed all year and they showed again today. Um, but I mean, West Liberty, they're a great team. You know, they got a lot of shooters across the board like we have, and they were able to, to get the ball to the middle and then uh, find some shooters. And you got to give a lot of credit to them, the way they played and uh, some of their individual players who are pretty talented too. Chris Cordozio, D2E, Um 
it seemed as if they uh, kind of shut down Carter Smith's driving lanes a little bit today. They gave him a baseline look. Uh, they did their homework on him. Did that have any factor in the game? Yeah, you know what? I thought they did a good job on Carter through the paint, forcing him into some tougher decisions. And they've got a lot of length. You know, we're, we're pretty fortunate with these guys and some of the size and length that we have playing in our league um, with Pierce on the wing at 6'8". And they've got the same type of length that was Seager Bonifant and uh, some of those guys. And uh, I mean, he, Carter did it last week in the regional, you know, some big plays down the middle, finding guys as he got to the middle, or scoring to win two games, obviously. And um, at some point or another during the game, it just didn't happen the same way. But credit to them with their defensive game plan and how they, they obviously planned and prepared for, for him and for us as a whole. Um, but again, uh, like I said earlier with these two, or the foul shots, if put the ball back in his hands and let him make that decision again if we were able to do it again because he, he's done a great job all year. Pierce, what was it like to play um, against Seager, a guy that's got your similar length and, um, and talent? Uh, and I mean, he didn't shoot, he didn't kill you from the outside, but he had some nice moves inside. Yeah, he's a good player. Um, credit to him. Uh, we scouted him as an all-around player, but he, he likes to shoot first, and so uh, we focused on that. And then he mentioned and we went over his post offense, but I mean, on our team, I can't play against myself, and so it's kind of difficult to represent someone um, in practice. But I mean, we're all capable of guarding people, and a few uh, shots drop for him, a few shots didn't drop for us, and so I mean, I'll take the matchup any day. You pump bait them in the corner and got yeah. a spit foul too, which was big. Any more questions? Well, gentlemen, congratulations on an outstanding season, and uh, thank you for your insight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great, great season.